ESPN Radio, ESPN News. We're now on Channel 83 on Sirius XM. We're presented by Progressive Assurance. Our guest joining us via the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. Guests like Todd McShay last hour. And at, at its best, I think what this show is, is a conversation among people that are friends. And when we're at our best, I often, frankly, forget that we're even on the air. Um, we just are kind of in here chopping it up, talking. The Dude Draft was a great example of that. It's It's been a lot of fun. Take a quick second to say to Ray Necci and Steve Cerruti, we appreciate you. They're they're moving up uh, in the world to the uh, Mike and Mike, and we'll we'll miss having them here. But the atmosphere that, that that group has created has led to a lot of that, a lot of fun where we just kind of mess around. And you do forget that the mic is on, and you do forget that people are listening. But yesterday was a great reminder that that people are indeed listening. We did our uh, our our fantasy road trip draft. You chose Oregon, Michigan State. That's the right game. If you could go anywhere in college football this week, that's where you'd go. I said, if I could go someplace else, I said, you know where I'd go? Laramie, Wyoming. Well, why not? See Wyoming, take on Air Force, little western sky up on the ridge, crackling sirloin. We got that McConaughey drop. Um, and I was, you know, just having some fun. Well, the folks in Wyoming were listening. And I get a note saying, hey, are you coming out? Well, at the end of the show, and I've got something to say, we, we, we mentioned, well, I, I'm going to need some private aviation if I'm going to get from Hartford to Wyoming. Well, Tim Harkins and Tom Berman, the um, assistant athletic director and the AD at Wyoming, said, done. <laughs> oh, well, that that kind of changes things, doesn't it? Uh, so you got the jet all readied up. Then they took it a step further. I said, ah, oh, you know, daughter stuff, guys, life. Like, bring them all. We'll send you back through Denver. You can go to Cherry Hills, check out the BMW, the playoffs in golf, and send you back after that. So what they did is they they overcame every objection immediately, and that left me sort of just put my hands in my pocket and sort of say, well, I was just kind of having a goof here. So this to the folks in Wyoming. You all are awesome, but I think that everyone out there should be a little bit concerned at what time in the day your athletic department starts drinking and, and start spending your your money from the coffers because if you're willing to spend that kind of dough to fly my idiot behind out there, uh, I'm I'm concerned about your fiscal responsibility. Flattered, would love to be there at some point in life, but the reality of it is that I I do have life in the East Coast and I can't be there. But it is it is a reminder that the mic is on. We appreciate people listening. We're flattered that the folks in Wyoming were kind enough to offer. Uh, go Pokes, beat Air Force. Uh, I'll be watching on the uh, on the T and the V. I got a text yesterday at 5 from Wyoming saying, hey, how can you help us with this? And I just said, I can save you the time. Zero chance he's going. He only travels to work, has a one-year-old at home, and his wife isn't going to be psyched about him going to Wyoming on a weekend off. I would also like to point out that in the same way that I stole McShay, Wyoming belongs to him. I'm just going to not even bring it up anymore because it clearly it's just going to make me look like a jerk. So I'll, uh, I'll let it go. Dax Crum, that, that, that was the, that was a Rosillo discovery, right? But you got the jersey. Yeah, they sent it to me. Yeah, yeah. So they sent it to me. you know, I still have it though. It's your, it's yours. That's all right. Um, it's all right. Maybe I just pick a different team. <laughs> it is amazing though that the the offer was made. Um, I just I I I said I told my wife the story. She said, "So you're going to Wyoming?" I said, "Well, no, I I I wouldn't spring that on you on 24 hours notice that I was going to." go to Wyoming for a day. I would try to map that out a little bit more. A little more planning would, would have to go into that. But it's that it's the reminder in life that don't play poker if you don't know the other cards, you know, because you, you, you bluff and then they say, call. And then you're left to say, oh, well, the my cards were just kind of guy on radio talking about stuff. I can't come to Wyoming. So I'll watch football from here. SPP and Marcella were brought to you by Dr. Pepper.